Well, joining me now on the show is John Cope, who's the Director of Strategy, Policy and Public Affairs at UCAS. Who better to speak to, John? Going to be a busy day for you tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the, what we're seeing uh, is the record demand uh, for university. We're seeing record demand uh, for apprenticeships. But you're right, this year is completely different to previous years because this, this group of young people, you know, they've had a really tough time. They've never done high stakes exams before. They missed their GCSE exams because of the pandemic. Uh, so they are having a different experience. And you're also right that in the last two years, they ha um, people have had teacher assessed grades, whereas this year, people have done exams, they've got proper um, moderated uh, results, which means that, you know, we are expecting fewer people to get the top grades. But it's important to add that that's entirely normal. Uh, about nine, over 97% of people have got an offer from university. Um, and by the end of it, we're expecting more people uh, than ever before to be placed. So how about do you go, how do you go about the process of a very tearful teen who looks at the letters on their uh, results paper and thinks, I haven't made it, I don't get to go to a particular institution that I really have pinned my hopes on, what do I do now? Yeah, well, I, I was one of those people that didn't get uh, their predictor grades. Um, and my advice is, don't worry, um, most people don't meet or exceed their predictor grades. That's entirely fine and normal. If you haven't quite met it, uh, come to UCAS.com, come to us. We can offer uh, you some advice and support and guidance. And uh, through that, talk to your first choice, talk to the university. Lots of universities will show lots of flexibility and actually take people who are a near miss. So don't worry, talk, go to UCAS.com, talk to university. And if you go through that, all of that process, there's still clearing available to you. And there's about 27,000 or so courses already in clearing. And there's also loads of degree apprenticeships and other apprenticeships as well. So talk to university, come to UCAS.com, and there's loads of choice out there if you haven't quite made it. The great academic musical chairs. Um, but do you think that there is, uh, you know, your, your boss has said that she wants to see more students steered towards doing apprenticeships, sort of real world training rather than just academic degrees, because there's far more demand than there are places. I mean, is that because there are fewer places, more students? So we see record demand, as I said at the start. So there's more demand than ever. And we're also seeing the number of 18-year-olds go up as well. So there is huge amounts of demand and support out there. But that stereotype that you just gave of universities as kind of academic and in a lecture hall and stuff like that isn't quite true. You know, most universities deliver apprenticeships now um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to grow that. So uh, the choice that's out there for people is really, really broad. And we don't steer anyone towards any choice. You know, it's a really personal decision about whether university, college or an apprenticeship is the right choice for them. So if you come to UCAS.com, what you'll see there is all of the choices that are available, loads of advice weighing up the pros and cons of which choice and we'll help you guide you on that really personal choice.